Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about a Red Hat Linux 8.5 server issue. So, this is an issue regarding the Putty session. You can see this is a RHL 8.5 server I have created over the uh, VMR workstation and after creation I have rebooted the server and while I am trying to connect this virtual machine through the putty it is not working and I am unable to connect to the virtual machine. Let me tell you putty is a third party software through which we can connect to the virtual machine using the port 22 and the IP address and uh, similarly working as virtual machine we can execute all the commands uh, in the putty and that will be work in the virtual machine. So, it is a Basically, putty is a third party tool and uh, now I am unable to connect the virtual machine using the putty. So friends, in this video, we will discuss all the points we will and we will troubleshoot step by step and we will try to fix this issue. Friends, before starting this video, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. Please watch till end. So let's start the video. Let me tell you first what we will do. First, we will troubleshoot regarding the IP address. We will check the IP address configuration and if everything is okay or not, we will check one by one. Now, execute the command nmcli con show. It will show the all network ports connected here are configured here. You can see ENS 160 is the network port configured in the server. So, what we will do? Now, we will check the IP configuration using the ENS 160 that is the network port. Command will be nmcli device show ENS 160. Here you can see device is 160, Ethernet, uh, this is the MAC address, general connection, it is blank, it is blank, it is blank. So, I believe IP is not working properly and in this server now, no IP address assigned to this server. I uh, Please remember, whenever we are creating a virtual machine in VMR player, it is auto, it is uh, using the DHCP to provide the IP address to the virtual machine. I believe in this virtual machine IP address is not present. So, now what we will do? Use the command nmc uh, nmtui sorry nmtui it is a graphical tool using which we can check the IP address configuration. Edit the connection. Go to edit. Here you can see uh, IP address is automatic but here automatically connect it is not present. It is not, that's why IP address is not working properly. Press OK. Then back. Then go to activate connection. Then deactivate, activate. Back, quit. Again check the command. Device show. You can see now IP before the IP address is coming here. That means, sorry, this one IP4 address. This is the IP address assigned to the virtual machine. This is the IP address. Now, try it through the putty to connect. Open the putty. You can see. I am able to connect to the server, use the username and password. Uh, now you can see my password is not working here and uh, I, I am successfully connecting, uh, I am successfully able to connect to the virtual machine using the IP address over port 22 but password is not working that means uh, put uh, the virtual machine is uh, not allowing me to uh, log into the server using the root password that means root user not working here to troubleshoot that what we will do we have to troubleshoot the ssh configuration ssh 
SSH configuration present in VI ETC SSH SSH D underscore config uh, using VI command we can edit the configuration file search for root login okay go down you can see permit root login no here one configuration parameter added here and this configuration not allowing me to login to the server using the root user what we will do we will comment this press i to start the insert mode comment this one escape to come out save and come out from this prompt now restart the ssd service check the status it's running now try to login through the putty restart session root root still it is not working again restart the service Status. Try once again. Open a duplicate session. Use the root user. Provide the password. Still, it is not going. Okay, no problem. Again, go to the configuration. go down do one thing remove the comment that means remove the hash add yes escape save the configuration restart the service check status ok go to putty open a duplicate session use the root provide the password you can see i am success that means in ssd configuration we have to we have to change the parameter permit root login yes this is the parameter we have to edit and change in the ssd configuration This is the step two. Please remember. Another also another point also sometimes that we have to also troubleshoot. The third point is firewall configuration. In this case, without firewall configuration, uh, it started working. But some cases firewall configuration also need to be checked. Now check here. Firewall CMD, Firewall hyphen CMD, minus minus list, minus service. You can see SSS services are allowed here. If we we'll remove the SSS service, Firewall CMD. Minus minus remove hyphen service is equal to SSH. Reload the configuration.
reload that means restart the uh, it is restarting the file service now check the list of services configured in the it is not removed okay no problem okay, no problem it is not working because firewall cmd happen uh, firewall cmd minus minus remove service is equal to sss it's a temporary command that means whenever we are removing the uh, parameter removing any service using the parameter minus minus remove hyphen service it is a temporary purpose that means you can notice whenever we have removed the command it was successful and we can check after reload the service sss was again present here that's why it's a uh, not a permanent thing uh, now what we'll do now check one second remove the service now check the list of services you can see sss is not present here and if you want to do it permanent we have to add a parameter minus minus permanent you can see success now check the list of services again it is not coming that means it changed the permanent uh, removal of the sss service now try to connect to the server open a duplicate session you can see i am unable to connect to the uh, virtual machine using the putty because sss service was removed from the firewall now what we'll do again add the service change it to add hit enter reload the service check the list of service ss is added now try to connect from putty you can see it's asking me for the user provide the username provide the password you can see i am success that means this is also the another way we can check the firewall setting if um, i am unable to connect from the third party sss tool the virtual machine so this is also another way and another way is also if you want to do the firewall change the firewall configuration using a graphical tool we have to use the command firewall help in config it's a graphical tool here go to the sss configuration sorry sss rule here you can see sss selected uncheck it and now try to connect duplicate session you can see I am unable to connect to the server. Now select it. Duplicate session. You can see it is now allowing me to connect to the virtual machine. This is also the graphical tool here. You can also change the uh, firewall settings. So I believe uh, these are the way we can use to troubleshoot the uh, issue. Whenever we are unable to connect from the third party uh, SSH tool to the virtual machine so these are the three steps we have to follow first is the ip address configuration we have to check everything is okay or not uh, and the ip addresses configuration is okay or not then we have to check the sss configuration in then we have to check the firewall configuration these are the settings i hope this video is helpful for you if this video is helpful for you please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and comment thanks for watching